Hello, welcome to the channel. Today's video is a bit of a throwback to when I built a Ford Pop hot rod. I did put a flathead V8 in it. This is some footage I've had that was probably taken about 10 years ago and I just thought I'd put it together and put it on my channel just so you know people could enjoy it and see what I did. I, I no longer own the vehicle which is a shame but it was really good fun to make. It was a, it was a good learning curve and set me up to make you know the vehicles I've made since so yeah hope you enjoy it thanks for watching so this is where we started the the body this is what I bought off a friend as you can see I didn't buy a whole car I just bought parts of a car so it was just to give a rough idea this is where I did a wireframe and rolled some steel around the back and the same inside. This was way before I understood English wheels and slip rolls. Here we see the car roughly mocked up. You see the steel wings on the back. I eventually used fiberglass wings that I bought off somebody from a, a drag strip, basically. Here's the flathead V8 that I bought. This is how it came. I just unwrapped it, took it to pieces. There was one cylinder that was rusted up that had to be honed out and a new liner put in. Here's a clutch, this is the one I used off uh, Land Rover. It's a Rover SD1 gearbox on there, the LT77. Here you can see the engine actually in the car, it was a really tight squeeze. Uh, this is the chassis, you can see I put some chassis rails in the centre, actually strengthened it up to take the flattered V8 and the gearbox and basically hung everything off the centre chassis. I had to modify the original Ford Pop steering box to get rid of the, the long arm. These floor mount pedals, balance bar brakes.
So here's the chassis and engine and gearbox all mounted in the chassis. They still had the wheels to get painted at this point, but it was pretty much chassis all finished up, ready to put the body on. Right, that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed that. Please uh, follow along for more videos like that coming up very soon. I have been a bit uh, scarce recently, but I have been working on other projects, as you'll probably uh, no doubt see shortly. I've also been doing a bit of a collaboration with Natasha Patom. We've been working on his car. It's in the workshop at the moment as I speak, so you'll see that on his channel very shortly. But yeah, follow along and uh, thanks for watching.